Hello, I'm John Dinsley with Charcoal House. Today we're going to discuss our R5 water filters. These filters can be used not only in a home, but they can be used industrially as well. Uh, what we have here is our most common water filter, which is sometimes put underneath sinks, but it's also used in industrial applications for machines where they're trying to recycle water and use it over and over again. We have the stainless steel model. Now each one of these units comes with a handle to be able to remove the filter and put it back on or tighten it. So that's what this one is for the stainless steel one. We have a similar one shaped differently for this model. Again, it's used to take it off and put it back on. Here is a mounting bracket that uh, when you decide where you're going to put it, you just use the screws with the kit and fix it to the filter and then mount it on the wall wherever you want to use it. Now, after this demonstration, we're going to actually go out to, we have, to our uh, pump house where we have a large system where we gather rainwater and we use that rainwater to uh, water the grounds, but we also want to put some filters on that system so that if in an emergency we run out of water, we can bring it on into the building as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a larger 20 inch uh, water filter system. This one has a refillable water filter in it so that we can add whatever kind of media that we want. We can use um, either granular charcoal like a wood based or we can use a bone char or one for chloramine removal, whatever we choose. Uh, here is the three stage model. Again, it's easily marked on here showing you where the inlet is and where the outlet is. And you usually start with a sediment filter on this side, and then you put in special charcoal filters here to be able to capture whatever particular pollutant you're focusing on. We're going to use a three-stage filter, but it's going to use the 20-inch model rather than the 10-inch. Now here we have the 10-inch again. We can just open it up. Take the lid off, take the bottom off, I guess. And inside we have a refillable cartridge. In our applications, typically we'll use a granular actor activated charcoal with a 1230 mesh size. But we have other different grades that we can use. We have, as I mentioned before, bone char. This is an 8x16, which is quite common. This one over here, uh, 2050S, or there's another one called 2040 CAT, and they are used to remove chloramine in the water. Many municipalities use chloramine instead of chlorine to uh, disinfect the water. Now, if you have a large aquarium, you might want to use the aquatic blend or the aquarium blend. Both of these work quite well for those applications. Here is um, the filter. I want to just show you how easily that filter is to, um, to fill. I'm going to use um, this filter here. I'm going to just take this off the bottom. I have a funnel here. And we're just going to fill this up. Now, you don't want to fill it all the way up. You only want to fill it about 80%. And then once you fill that, we're going to put a pre-filter on top of that. And there'll still be a space between the charcoal and the pre-filter. So here we go. Again, we don't want to fill it all the way up. Oh, a little bit more, I think. Now, this is the real convenience of these refillable filters is that you can change it yourself. Normally, if you buy these cartridges for most typical water filter systems, you're going to pay quite a bit more, quite a bit more for the, um, the sealed unit, which when you're done, you're just going to throw it in the landfill. These you can actually reuse over and over again multiple times, and you can put the kind of grade of charcoal that you want into it you're not stuck with just one grade. So there we have the charcoal in here, comes to about here. This uh, pre-filter comes to about here. So there's left about a 
oh, one and a half inch space between the charcoal and the filter. And you just add, put the bottom back on it, like that. You add it to your housing. Now, remember that the housing is already fixed to the wall and you've unscrewed the bottom part and you're just now replacing that in here and adding, then coming up underneath and screwing that back onto your filter. Well, that's all there is to it. Um, we're going to discuss this a little bit more. Daniel's going to go into a little bit more depth on this in another video. But now we're going to go outside and actually get onto the wall for our cistern and the water system that will come into the, the building itself. Thank you.